Hi, I'm Troy, creator of datascientist.net and a professional data scientist. And in this video, I want to introduce to you a conference coming up called Data Happy Con for 2015. And here is my Bhutanese brother, Sonam Togi, to tell us a little bit more about the concepts of, uh, that are in the, in the conference. The conference is about data science, leadership, and GNH. And Sonam's going to talk about GNH for us so we can all become a little bit familiar about what gross national happiness is. Thank you, Troy. Uh, I feel very happy and indeed proud to be a part of this very important uh, conference that is going to take place in Bhutan this year. To talk very li little about GNH, that is cross national happiness, cross national happiness, the very idea of cross national happiness originated from the tiny kingdom of Bhutan, which is situated between India and China. In 1972, when His Majesty, the fourth king, King Jigme Senge Wangchu, ascended the golden throne, he proclaimed that for a country like Bhutan, cross-national happiness is more important than cross-domestic product. However, he did not mean to say that cross-domestic product is unimportant. What he all meant was that for a small nation like Bhutan, cross-national happiness is more important than gross domestic product. The very essence or the cornerstone of GNH as a development philosophy is that it places people's well-being and happiness at the center of societal progress. GNH as a development philosophy is based on four pillars, nine domains, and 72 indicators. And the level of happiness of the Bhutanese people and Bhutan as a country is measured by an index called Cross National Happiness Index, which is being improved from year to year. Thank you. Thank you, Sainam. So what GNH means to me, gross national happiness, is really a new type of thinking. It comes from a new type of thinking, as Einstein has been so famously quoted to say, that a new type of thinking is essential for mankind to survive and to move forward to higher levels. Now, what we're seeing, and I believe GNH will be as an example of this new type of thinking. In the conference itself, we want to ask those questions. How do I develop a new type of thinking? What does a new type of thinking even look and feel like? And also, who out there has already developed a new type of thinking? And what is the difference between what they're doing and what we're doing now. So if you feel drawn to this cause and uh, would like to be a part of our growing community, please pledge some uh, money to our crowdfunding project so that we can make this conference a conference that is going to be noticed by the world and a conference that will be remembered for all time. So thank you. Thank you, Brother Troy. Thank you, Sonam. Thank you.